Tell me, Charlotte, how do you plan to achieve eternal life, since you've obviously given it a lot of thought? I won't give up. You have no idea how determined I am, sir. I may contract a deadly disease. I may throw myself under a carriage just to be saved by her sweet kiss. That's a disturbing answer, young lady. And the worst part of it is, I know you speak the truth. There are less dangerous ways, Doctor. Instead of throwing myself under a horse like Emily Davison, I could just throw myself into your arms. Stop playing this game at once, Charlotte. This is unworthy of you, of your mother and of myself. I'm sorry, Dr. Reed. Please forgive me. That was stupid. Never. That would be betraying your mother's trust. She would never forgive us. For sure. But look on the bright side. We would have eternity to reconcile. Or an eternity to run away from your mother's mighty wrath. Quite a terrifying idea, don't you think? Yes. I think it's wiser to let go of that part of the plan. Be careful what you wish for, young lady. I could gaze at you right now and then take you to a shady corner and have my way with you. And leave your carcass to the rats. You... you wouldn't dare. My mother would know. She'd never forgive you. How could she suspect me? Do you know how many vampires are lurking in the city tonight as we speak? Vampires with a worse sense of humor than mine. Oh, my God. For one second, I thought you actually... Excellent, Dr. Reed. Very convincing. Pray for my mother to never find my killer. Betrayer. <laughs> 